wounded here for the three Angstrom Heights blue team. A whole bunch of Imperial Guard. We have two Lord Generals first up is Panzer Battalion. And we also have Son of Malice. These guys are ranged heroes that start with Stormtroopers to help them out. Really strong defense and support capabilities. They can also add to this retinue of Stormtroopers throughout the game. Giving them more abilities. Alongside here is Olev. As a Lord Commissar, strong offense and support fights in melee combat begins with a refractor field. Red team then. We have Pawn as a Warlock, a melee hero that can leap into combat, has some powerful spells, giving him disruption, support, and offense. There he goes. Exodite's elite scheme, I think. Yep. Alongside here, YZ as a Ravana Alpha, a tunneling commander, great mobility, powerful offense, and a little bit of support begins range combat, but can get specialized melee weapons. And rather off the teams here is Kane as a Plague Champion starts off range combat with a damage over time bolter. Can get melee weapons, some decent utility and support. Can build turrets and repair, but is very slow. Some Black Legion. Angstrom Heights then. You have natural VPs over in the east and the north. And a contested VP smack in the centre there. See a lot of... Um, Fights over power in the southwestern area. Natural powers down there. Mid player, as usual in a 3v3, pretty important to support both sides when you can. Can either of these players force off the other with enough left to support one of their allies? We'll see. Lord Commissar chasing down some termagants. They don't have crippling poison yet to slow him down, so he's having fun. Garzman just behind him too. There's that Sentinel of Son of Malice. Panzer Battalion also got one. But Olev did not. Sometimes you'll see Commissars with that triple Garzman opening. Giving him tons of firepower to put on something. Especially if he uses his Inspire Courage buff. Which doubles the damage of a squad after you shoot one of its members. But um, Imperium doesn't like to talk about that bit. To its citizens anyway. Kane. Lost two of his CSM models. Is getting some noise marines up. Will help him bash power all over the place. Got a weapon team now for Pawn, who has triple Dire Avengers too. 451 to 494. One tap up. Now there's a double for Blue Team. Good start from Imperial Guard. We've seen them starting really strongly lately in these 3v3 fights. Can the Sentinel get away though? Oh, could not get away. The Stomp did not quite hit all of those Hormagaunt models. So some of them were able to leap in and get hits on. Just as I say, they started strongly. They lose their Sentinel. Heavy Weapon Squad on the way for Panzer Battalion. Ravana Brood up for YZ. Must be in a tunnel somewhere. There we go. Following the Ravana Alpha around. It would be nice if he, would be nice if he was differentiated a little bit more. The Ravana Alpha visually at a glance kind of thing. Seems to have a slightly different movement animation, as you can see. Holds his claws up a little bit higher. Double cap is still going on. Not sure if they bashed power here, if there were just no generators. Looks like they're generating up here. Red team have triple and node also. Tunnel found. Destroy tunnel. Gives you some red and some XP, I think. Oh, they, I don't, I'm not sure if they were able to do it. Lord Commissar found, found a fight again. And then meets a whole bunch more Tyranids. And he's got something else to do all of a sudden. Noise Marines with Sonic Blaster too far away to get any shots on. But they are behind heavy cover over there. And Plague Champion on capping duty. Not sure what that symbol was over there. I think it was just the remnants of the Sonic Blaster destroying that um, node. We have Grenade Launcher Heretics, good news in general for Chaos when you can get your Grenade Launchers up against Imperial Guard. These CSM are not actually behind cover probably, might want to shift over a little bit. A hey, champion now in heavy cover, we know how how they do with their sitting behind heavy cover with Nurgle Worship. Noise Marines ran right into a stomp, a little bit sloppy there from Kane. Should have seen it coming, backed off a little bit maybe. Oh, Sentinel goes down though. Double Termagants with Toxin Sats coming in. 
Ravna Brood Borrow Strike too. Bad, bad news for Panzer Battalion. But uh, lives. Looks like Son of Manus replaced his Sentinel. Can be tough for Tyrannus to deal with them, but there they go and kill one. Look at that damage there from Triple Dire Avengers. That's painful. We have the Merciless Switchblade for the Warlock, not the Immolator. That's interesting. That will be bad news for the Lord Commissar, that's for sure. Gets in on the Lord General here. Draining energy and doing big chunks of damage per swing. 4-4-1 to 4-2-1 on VPs. 2-1 cap as players start to think about Tier 2. Red team, are they getting bashes here? I think they're just fighting. Adrenal gland Hormogaunts. We have a tunnel behind them so they can quickly escape. Hormogaunts found some guardsmen. Guardsmen don't want to fight those guys. And Havoc's brought up for Kane. All right, Noise Marines back in the field. They are standing around back here. Ravenna Brood with a burrow strike, I think, but they run into trouble. Trouble called Heavy Bolter. Lord Dreno with grenade launchers up. Should help against his little blobs of termagants and stuff. And against the enemy, grenade launcher heretics too. Heretics tend to blob up like crazy as they move around. Node was taken down down here. Kane needs a revive. Where is he at? Oh, he's right in the middle. Should be able to get revived by the Ravenna Alpha. And he might level to three. In fact, I think he will. Power Bash. Noise Marines in play. But well, here comes the Lord Commissar. And he's got Aura of Discipline here. Might suggest he wants some Ogrins up in Tier 2. We do have some relatively late Tier 1 Catechins for Son of Malice. Give you a lot of options, like exploding things with your shotgun, as you just saw there. They can also disrupt, deal with melee units, and deal out some pretty good melee damage themselves with some power melee knives that they have. I'm not sure how they got them. Catechins a strange place. This is dicey for Son of Malice down here. I don't think he should have stayed in that fight. Once he saw the Tyranids, he should have got the hell out of there. Tried to stay, tried to defend his turret, but ended up almost losing the Catechins and certainly losing the Sentinel there. Warlock levels to two. Raven Alpha is now level three with that revive he got. Sentinel getting repaired up here. Does have the ground pound. And it's tier two all round. Oh, apart from Panzer Battalion, who's got a late artillery spotter squad up. Has the heavy weapon squad too. And it is Ogrins for Olev. Going to be supported very well by this Aura of Discipline. Heals nearby allies every few seconds. And heals for more if they had lower models. Since they lower model squads tend to have more health and need more healing. Down goes that Commissar. Got shot to pieces there. Oh, we have some replacement Hormagaunts for YZ and a Zone Throw Pup. Slowly moving across the map at the top, Panzer Battalion. Could have been maybe a little bit quicker getting towards his power down here. Upgrades going on. Mark of Corn for the Havocs and Blastmaster for the Noise Marines. They weren't making enough noise before. Level 2 Lord General. Someone's capping mid. I think it's the Plague Champion. Might be the Ravener though. It is the Plague Champion. No, it's not. Who the hell is it? It's the Warlock. Of course. Here are those Ogrins. Heavy melee squad of super heavy infantry armor can also disrupt. But they uh, need some support when dealing with suppression, that's for sure. Shotgun blast from the Catechins and an escape 394-375 on the VPs. Warlock has found some poor guardsmen to uh, stab to death. But now it's persuaded to leave. Ogrins getting their bonehead leader. He's the one that gives them use your red, which allows them to charge around, knocking things over. I think it gives them a speed boost as well, so you can use it to try and close the gap. But if you want to get the full use out of the disruption, you tend to use it as you're, as you're entering combat, so you get more time to knock things around. But sometimes you don't have that luxury. Going to eat a grenade here, I think, Mr. Ogrins, maybe? No, you disappoint me, Dire Avengers. 
I'm not sure what this fella's up to. You gonna shoot that guy? Nope. He's gonna move four meters to the right and then set up again. That was Mika's discharge, breath of Nurgle heal. You just saw going off. Kicking off in the southwest again. His Ravenous causing a lot of trouble, but here's a Chimera for Son of Malice Panzer Battalion. Going for some Ogrins as well. Zone Throat getting those shots in. Does have that focus warp blast to damage vehicles too. Although they are going to need, I think, something else to take this Chimera down. There's that focus warp blast going in. Chimera's in a bit of trouble here. Needs to move. Or not. He's got some support now from Olev. Ogrin's here. Can't get into combat though. They will try and cap the mid. What's going on top? Artillery spotter, smoke shell, making the CSM change position. And fake champions there. They've lost the indicator for him. He's gone tier 3. He's gone tier 3. Stormtroopers on the way for Son of Malice. But they don't just still up. No sign of the um, sniper rifle, which you often see paired with those stormtroopers to give them insane range. Wraith Lord for Pawn. Oh, Destructor flying in. The first one I've seen him throw out. He must have thrown out plenty of them. There's a warp throw up too. Been very diligent fighting this power down here, Son of Man. I haven't seen him go mid even a little bit. Wraith Lord has found a Commissar. Going to take him down. Yes, he does with a sink kill too. Just drops him. Just utter contempt for the Monkey. Is this guy going to survive? That's a Bright Lance getting shots on from the uh, shoulder of the Wraith Lord. Might go down. One more shot on rear armor should do it. There he goes. Crashes into the wall immediately. Oh, into some crates, I should say. 327 to 350. Very close on DPs here. Some Ravenna tunnels around the place. Commissar's back to his feet. Revan Alpha with the Corrosive Kuro Devourer and Synapse Aura for damage. His army now able to pump out some serious range damage if they're near him. Wraith Lord, not afraid of your hot shot las guns, no matter how hot they are. But he doesn't like the las cannon. Big chunks of damage and a slow. Not sure he has anything to, to follow it up though. Capillary Tower taken out. 313-350. What is this? Oh, Mark of Corn CSM, yay. Get some power melee chain axes. And they are gonna decap the VP here. While Panzer Battalion is distracted. Trying to put pressure on this VP. Not with any real haste. We do have an auto cannon here, maybe that's why. Massive, massive damage to that sentinel. Look at that. That was two bursts. Ogrin's going to get in some combat with it, I think. Yes, they will, without taking any damage, too. Ravenna Brood showing up. But I think he should be able to get maybe a decap here. Not sure why he's still moving. Turn around. Plague Champion trying to force melee combat and things. Oh, he's getting his Plague Fist, that's why. Also has Armor of Pestilence, so he's gone for a super tanky build. Great for capping that mid-VP, actually. Something is retaking Blue Team's natural VP, looks like. There's the Pestilent Strike, stunning the Ogrins. And they drop a model. Plague Fist doing some work already. He's, all, he's level 2. Full retreat off from Panzer Battalion. Maybe should have got off there a little bit earlier. And not lost that Ogrin model. Not sure what this guy's doing. He should be capping mid the Lord Commissar there for Olev. What is he looking at? He got that VP back. He's got some stuff down here that is probably microing. Now he's capping. So it's going to be a 2 to 1 for blue, I think. We'll see if the Ravenna and the Plague Champion here can get across to the other VP quickly. Or just contest mid. But it is the 2 to 1 in. Here are the Ogrins of Olev. 
below level one. Oh, these guys may get caught before they can set up here. Almost are taking the wrong option, I think, and going for the heretics. But he uses his flare to get rid of these guys anyway. Here comes a Mark of Corn CSM. Don't really want to fight Ogrins, do they? It's a good fight, though. Wraith Lord is still around. But can't stop the Power Bash. Bright Lance, not a huge threat to those guards when it will struggle to hit them. Everyone's tier 3. Just waiting for those, for those big guns to hit the field for Imperial Guard. Not sure how this map would fare with um, a load of tanks. But uh, maybe we'll see. That zone throat, that must be a new zone throat, right? I'm not sure if it is. It's got a bunch of XP. I don't think it is, actually. Uh-oh. These guys are dead. Super, super dead. 230309. Look, that seems like Son of Malice loses everything. Loses something, I should say, every time he tries to push through to that power. Was that, I think that was Son of Malice's um, heavy weapon squad anyway. Bane Blade on the way for that Lord General down there. Full retinue for the Lord General of Panzer Battalion. As the Commissar has the Vox Operator and the Medical Sergeant. But he just dropped a couple of fellas there with that zone throw pit. Imperial Guard on the opposite side. This could be a dicey retreat for them. Mine's dropped in. Nothing there to really spot them either. Tyranids must have noticed the mine drop. Now they're starting to detonate. They take a while before they arm. Uh oh, Marco Corn CSM. Trying to cap under attack from Ogrins. They needed to get the hell out of there, that's for sure. And they will be okay. Now damage pouring in on the Ogrins. The Cross Devourer is a plasma weapon. So it's doing a lot of damage to them. But they are persuaded to leave. Take Champion in there. Keep missing this guy because we have no indicator. 230, 288 on the VPs. And he's going for that VP. Make it a 2 to 1 for red. Meanwhile, bottom. Warlock's going ballistic with Providence and Warp Throat. And his Mercy Switchblade is still up. Providence gives him invulnerability, immunity to knockback, and massive energy, energy regeneration, as you can see. I believe it gives, yeah, reduced ability cooldowns. 226 to 288. Nice Marine. Still level 1, fellas. Come on. Some Seer Council on the way for Pawn. 219 to 288. Double cap here for the red team now. But there's the Bane Blade. And we have another Bane Blade from Olev. Looks like that one's going bottom. Not sure why it's going bottom. The power threatened. And there's a Wraith Lord to shoot at, I guess. Red team are taking blue team's natural VP. They have the triple cap. YZ, Swarmbot on the way. Great and clean one on the way. Seer Council on the way, as we saw. Can they deal with two Bane Blades, though? With all that repair support they're going to have. Might need a nuke to do so. And the Eldar player does have enough for one of them. We also have enough for a Tyrone formation. That's the Demolisher Cannon missing. Ouch. That one didn't miss though. Lord General gets the cap. Lost his entire retinue doing so. You can now repurchase those um, special retinue members for a reduced cost after you lose them. Which is good for the Lord General. These guys not wanting to mess with Mark of Corn CSM. They don't have their aspiring champion anymore. But they are going to take that VP back if they can. Might see a 2 to 1 with both of the naturals red. Great unclean one on the field. Super unit for chaos. Passively damages nearby enemies and has some nasty abilities too. It's also a demon, so you can worship this guy for big benefits to his survivability. Nice Blastmaster shot there. Bane Blade. Getting some good shots here on the great unclean one. That's a foul snare. One of his aforementioned nasty abilities. Played champion on capping duty now. And they got this. Did those CSM get away? Oh, they did not get away. 
not sure what happened down here. Warlock got right on the edge of the map and uh, met some Ogrins. Oh, Eldritch hits the Bane Blade. Didn't hit it a huge. Oh, it does hit it a huge amount. Good damage on, and now it's stunned. But I think. Did it also hit the Wraith Lord there? It must have. The Wraith Lord has stopped. 115 to 288. Wraith Lord will go back to getting hits on. If it wasn't if it wasn't hit by its own Eldritch, that would have been a busted up Bane Blade. As it stands, it looks like the Wraith Lord is gonna go down. Without taking out the Bane Blade. Down it goes. Last cannon of the Bane Blade getting the last shot. Here's a Swarm Lord now for YZ Soup Unit for Tyranids. Gives you a very nice speed and reinforcement synapse for your nearby little Tyranid friends. I believe even your allies, non Tyranid allies, can reinforce off this thing, I think. Which seems pretty mental. Graham King was in trouble. Big, big, big trouble. Getting chased. Bane Blade is very, very slow, though. Here's some Chaos Terminators for Kane. They're going straight for that VP again. Have Twin Link Bolters and Power Fist. They also demoralize units when they kill them. Because they shout insults and make fun of you. Here's that Lord General. Going to try and cap with a Swarm Lord in his face. We'll see how that goes. Shield isn't going to help you against that. Only 86 VPs remaining for the blue Imperial Guard team. They do have a Bane Blade per player though. For any new viewers out there, you can only get one super unit per player. Which is the why you're not seeing multiple Bane Blades from these guys. And that's why you won't see multiple Swarm Lords or Great and Clean ones either. 86 to 285. Fire Prism up for Pawn. He still has... Where's the Seal Council? What have they been doing? What have they been doing? They've got some XP. Looks like the Terminators had to teleport out and took a hell of a lot of damage too. They have their Auto Cannon. Red Team taking their natural back. This is a what? Level 4 Plague Champion. Auto Cannon Havocs will look after it. These guys not turning around and fighting the Commissar for some reason. Now because the Bane Blade is perched up there ready to fire. 84285. Some late game Stormtroopers for Son of Malice. Opting not to go for Kashukin instead. Which are your tier 3 elite infantry option for Imperial Guard. They did get the cap. There's a 2 to 1. Can Red Team get it back with what is lurking here? Two Bane Blades to shoot the crap out of you. It's not a good cap attempt for you. Terminators, where is the play champion when you need him to cap? Looks like he's looking after the natural VP, which is not where you want him here, I think. Flank attempt from Panzer Battalion's Bane Blade and a whole bunch of infantry alongside it. Really kicking off here. Red team desperately want the VPs. Last cannon here. Might be able to get a shot off. Nope. Can't let me get one. Swarm Lord needs to use Leech Essence. Might have used it already to heal up. So they got the Imperial Guard out of there. They got a decap, but it's going to be retaken. And all three Bane Bades are still up, I think. Yes, they are. Manticore now in play for Olev, coming very, very far forward actually. Some cash akin for Olev, for um, Panzer Battalion I should say. There's the Manticore strike. Painful. Termigants lived somehow, these guys lived. Because they're level 4 I guess. Blue team now looking pretty strong. They're looking pretty damn strong. Trying to formation did go off. This is no, no repair bunkers up either. YZ calling for some um, anti-vehicle. We do have a last cannon here for Kane. He also has an auto cannon, but it's looking after this VP. Where's that plate champion at? 
He's still here. Why are you not going mid? Maybe he's not feeling the desperation yet with 235 VPs remaining. That's going to get in shots. No idea why this Bane Bed is so far forward here. Really unnecessary. I guess they just want to keep them the hell away from that central VP, but I don't think you need the Bane Bed too far forward there. Double fire prisons for Pawn. Kane with another Havoc and I guess another Las Cannon. Great and clean one moving in. Swarm Lord persuaded to leave using Leech Essence to stay alive, draining health from nearby enemies. There's Cloud of Flies. Those Ogrins infecting all their friends over there. Not sure what these guys are trying to do. They don't have melters. And they're going to die, I think. Yep. Into little pieces. Look how far forward this Bane Blade is. What is it doing? Son of Malice. Oh, this is Olev's Bane Blade down here, actually. Now getting some furious repairs. But that Swarm Lord's doing heavy melee, obviously. And this guy can use his corrosive shots to deal damage to vehicles now he's being tied up though there's a ton of formation boom did a big chunk of damage and some more and down it goes one bane blade down manticore still up the other two are still up too 84 to 182 some late dire avengers for the elder player to help fix up these um fire prisms i think not sure what these terminators are up to back here Where's the plague champion now? Oh, he's over here. Oh, that wasn't enough to stop the decap, that grenade launcher barrage. And these Havocs might die here. Looks like they will barely get away. And here comes a Bane Bane pushed all the way forward to help this cat. Lots of plasma guns getting shots on the Terminators. It's bad news for them. They are getting demoralized. Lord General is furiously reinforcing and does get the cap. Terminators will now go strike, try to get it right back. Olev has got a second Bane Blade on the way after losing his first. Right Lance doing good DPS here. Corrosive shots on the Ravener maybe. No, they're all buffed by the Capillary Tower I think. A lot of damage to the Bane Blade. Can they finish it off here? Fire Prism's getting shots in. There's the Warlock. He's doing regular melee damage, so it's not really going to help against the Bane Blade. Here's some Power Melee Sick Council. Who will do a little little bit of something. Where are those last cannons gone? Oh, there's one of them. There's another one. No Plague Marines that I see. Plague Champion went down, it looks like capping that VP not sure if we got it or not 84 to 148 super aggressive Bane Blade usage here this one I think is gonna go down down it goes indeed his Terminator is racking up the kills Swarm Lord has been awesome as well now going after the Chimera not sure how that was on a rear armor hit and it lives Oh, some crack grenades going in as you saw on the Swarm Lord there. Oh, they might get the other Bane Blade. Swarm Lord is on it. Terminators need to turn around and shoot their auto cannon here. They're trying to chase it with their power fists, I think. Down it goes. It's down. Will the Terminators survive, though? They do not survive. They are shot to pieces great and clean one. Oh, he's been idle back here for a while is he and here's the kind effects now for yz does the elder player have an eldritch very nearly there's the fist of brockus now only affects your oh no it doesn't it still affects allies i thought it only affected your own units now i guess not maybe it like lasts a, a lot less time or something. I know it was nerfed in some way a little while ago. Fire Prism got Manticord. YZ is now just down to Termigants and Carnifex. I think the blue team, despite their relatively 
brazen usage of Bane Blades are going to pull through here. VPs are evened up. They still have a Bane Blade. They have some big armies. And YZ doesn't. We'll see if the Eldar and Chaos players can pull him through. You'd think the Plague Champion could, could at least get a decap on the mid there. But Kane seems to be forgetting about his units a lot. Hey, I do the same thing. Last cannon getting shots. Making a great and clean one even slower than he already is. We have a Venom cannon kind of effects to bring some anti-vehicle oomph to the red team. Look at this. Blue team not resting in the mid. They're pushing all areas of the map trying to keep the red team busy. And it's working. Look, they're going to get a triple cap here. 84 to 47. Plague Champion is moving up now. There's going to be too little too late, I think. I think the blue team have this one. With a triple right now. Really good play from Panzer Battalion. Using the move, move, move to escape. Stabilizer is also in play. Yep, triple cap's going to do it. Does turn into a double, but... um. It's enough to see them through and you gotta say that's a good comeback from the blue team desperation from red trying to push against those bane blades and yz just kind of lost too much there kane forgot about some vital assets now and then the old are just trying to do what he can level seven level six level nine lord general for son of malice level five warlock a level nine ravenna alpha did have to regenerate and a level five play champion should have been mid trying to cap, I think, a few times. But there you have it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.